Hello and welcome to your 15th C++ tutorial. I'm Raja and in this video we're gonna learn about the concept of arrays. So let's get started. Now the very first thing I want you to tell is why do we need arrays? And don't worry I'm not gonna take your art class today. So suppose uh, I want you, I will tell you to take some inputs in a variable. Suppose I tell you to uh, store the roll numbers of 50 students in roll number of 10 students in variables. So what you do, you just go and create 10 variables, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a10, and store the values into those variables. Now suppose I tell you to go and uh, go and store the roll numbers of 100 people, and you will tell me, "Are you crazy? <laughs> I can't do that." You can do that. You can do that. For that we need arrays. Now arrays are very very useful things. Here we can store a lot of things together inside only one variable. Only one variable, a lot of things and we can access all those things, all those data one by one by one. Now an array is homogeneous and it is, the values are stored in contiguous memory locations. Now, what do we mean by contigu contiguous? Let's explain a bit. Now, suppose uh, suppose we have our memory like this. This is our RAM. Now, as you can see, as you can know that each, not each, actually each and every memory location inside our RAM has a specific address so that we can access that and we can retrieve values from that whenever we need. So each and every memory location has a unique address so that we can identify that. Now, when you store a value into a variable or when you just declare a variable, that variable is created somewhere inside the memory. Suppose in this block you create a variable named A. Now, the next time whenever you create another variable b, this will not be this will not be allocated just after it. Okay, this will there's no guarantee that the next variable will be allocated after it. The variable may be allocated here or may be allocated here. And the next variable you create will also there's no guarantee why it will be allocated. Suppose inside the memory the first variable allocates here, second here, third here, fourth here. So when you create basic variables, there's no guarantee where your variable is going to be allocated inside the memory. But as I've said, arrays are contiguous memory locations. So when you store a lot of variables inside one array, so what happens is the first value gets stored here, the second value after the memory location after it, the third value the memory location after it, the fourth value memory location after it, and it goes on like this. So this is what I meant by contiguous. Contiguous means one after one. So all the variables or all the data are stored in contiguous memory locations or in memory locations which are uh, just one after one. Okay. So this is what contiguous means. Now I also told you that arrays are homogeneous. Now what I meant by that? Now, suppose I create an array of integers. Now the best thing is I cannot store characters inside that array. I cannot store float inside that array. So homogeneous basically means that we can store only one type of data inside it. Okay, so if I make an array of integer, I can only store the uh, integer value inside it. If I make an array of character or floats I can store that type of variable only inside it so nothing else so that is why we call array uh, homogeneous so let's take a look at the syntax of arrays now in order to create an array first of all you have to write the data type of the array I uh, suppose I want to store the uh, store roll number of 100 people inside the array so first of all a roll number is an integer one two three four these things are integer so first of all you have to write int then I have to give a name to the array. Suppose I name it A. Suppose I name the array A. And then the new thing. You have to write square brackets. Now 
inside the square brackets we have to write the size of the data suppose you want to store roll number of 100 people so all you're gonna do is write 100 here or 100 here so what will happen is now this array named a can store 100 integer variables okay this array named a will can store 100 integer variables and how do we access these variables how can we store data inside these variables oh, we have created an array but uh, we also want to store values inside it we haven't created it just for fun <laughs> okay so how do we access the values inside an array as i've said before inside a we have 100 integer memory locations so we can store 100 integers now we can access these 100 integers by their indexes now what are those index is by which we can access each and every memory location since we have 100 memory locations so for each memory location we have one index and the best part is the index starts with 0 and ends with the size minus one value suppose uh, I want to store a value in the first very first memory location so all you have to do is write a within square brackets I have to write zero and after I have write I can write the value five so here what I did is I have stored the value five inside the first memory location of this array now if you write one it will not be stored in the first memory location it will be stored in the second memory location because every because array indexes start from zero and the last memory location is just one minus uh, the size minus one so we have a size of hundred so the last the very last memory location will be 99 and we can store here whatever we want now if you store a hundred it will give you an error because it will not give you an error because there are some problem but it's not right okay you can store inside hundred because we have only zero to ninety nine that is hundred locations we, if we if we go if we go and store inside hundred that will overflow okay so this is the basics of arrays I hope you guys uh, understand the concept of arrays so in the next video we'll learn how to retrieve values and input values from this array and how can we use this in different ways so thank you very very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions just write those in comments and thanks